Hey everyone, Kyle once again. Welcome back to the um, review, next, the next review of the Land Before Time franchise. Um, now we're on moving on to part 12. And it's Land Before Time 12, The Great Day of the Flyers. Released in, uh, to the, released in 2000s, uh, let me get, um, Released in 2006, which is um, once again not in December, but another another day. Well, yeah, actually it was actually it's December. My mistake, my mistake. Again, and once again, directed video. Um, and that was the story. Uh, most of the all of the, the cast. Well, once again, there's another uh, voice, another uh, cast member who's voice in Littlefoot. Once again. But uh, but the other cast members are still the same, you know. <laughs> but um, moving on, moving on. Um, and there's another, and there's another one, another Land Before, Land Before, Time, Land Before Time film that has um, has got much uh, uh, more higher uh, higher ratings than than, than the previous than the previous films. Like on IMDb, this one IMDb, this one has a 6.0 on IMDb. You know, that it is a more higher than than some of the um, most other sequels. And then Rotten Tomatoes um, audience rated uh, 54 percent. So it is still some, it is still higher than some of the other films. So I guess well ones like this one like this one, um, sequel as well, you know. Um, and we introduced and we introduced our a new character, which is right here on the cover, which I'll with uh, Guido, which I'll get which I'll get to in a second. So moving into the into the story, um, the story is that the focus is mainly on Petrie because he's like the you know because it's about the flyers, the day the great flyers, you know, which um, which in in, in this one the um, Petrie and his uh, brothers and sisters they are getting right, uh, they're practicing, uh, they're flying um, on, in a in a group, you know, uh, for, for the the day of the flyers, you know, which um. Which is a which is a thing what they say that um, what Grandpa Lonnie said to Littlefoot that um, practice flying um, when we're ready to fly with uh, adults, you know, in a group with adults, you know. So, but um, Petrie he has a, has a has a mishap and causes all of his uh, brother and sisters to, brother and sisters to fly to, uh, to fall down, you know. They they get mad at him, you know. But um, but um. But when I put it like on the next day, you know, when um, when they say when little footage friends say say you 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 fly good uh flying on your own, but not in a group though. But have to have to work on that. But then um, when he tries when he tries to fly again, he there's there's a strong wind and he gets pushed back and falls into the, the tall grass. And this is where where they all where where little foot and his friends and all the grown ups they see they, they come in they meet Guido Guido. Which who is a kind of a a creature they've never they've never seen before you know, and especially um, he's uh, especially he has a a creature that has feathers which they don't know what feathers is. They ask him like, what are these you know? I mean, he he's, even Guido doesn't know what they are you know. So but they're but they're feathers though, and even uh, uh, Sarah's father said you're one of the weird another just we need another another weirdo you know. And he's about to head to find the fire. He's about to walk away, you know. Guido says, "I wouldn't go that way for you." And he says, "You don't tell me where I can't go." And he ends up falling into a mud pit, and, and everyone, and everyone, the kids and the grown-ups are all laughing at him, you know. <laughs> um, and there's a and Guido's like, "I know, I know." So he, so he, so to say this, to say, what he said to save the time for for he get he get pushed in, so he goes and jumps in the mud himself, you know. <laughs> and while also while that's going on, um. Uh, Tria, who is now uh, Sarah's a stepmother, they're all getting ready. The um, they they have the they have a, a new egg in there. They have they have they have a new egg, you know. And and when uh, later it shows that that when the egg is ready to hatch, you know, everyone's gathering around, you know, and hatches into a a pink a pink uh, right, which is right, another pink triceratops, which is. Now Sarah's and now uh, Sarah's little sister. They call it by the name of Trisha. You know, 
But also, while that uh, Sarah does this feeling like uh, upset, you know, because they pay more attention to the egg and now to her, and to Trisha, and now Trisha, you know, and to like that she's the only one that they they're ignoring her though. But but that ain't true, you know. Uh, Trisha, which Trish, little Trisha, has been like, growing up uh, close with the Sarah, you know. And and back with Petrie, as they try to, to attempt to fly again, though, and. When they try to when they're trying to uh, attempt to fly through sky puffies, which is clouds, you know, clouds. He 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 said he won't go around it, but they said, as soon as they try to attempt to go through it, mess up mess up again, you know. Once they get mad at him, once again, you know, says that you're ho they're hopeless, you're useless, you know. And then Petrie gets hurt by that, you know. So when um uh, Gu uh Guido uh, when Petrie advised Guido to well before that. Um, they try to, uh, uh, Petrie, Littlefoot, and everyone, they try to figure out what, what he is, you know. Like, what, uh, Littlefoot, they, um, it's just, it's make it mess, think, um, try to make, think, um, find out if he's a, if he's a long neck. So, he tries to, um, eat a leaf, you know, he hates it. He's not a long neck, you know. Um, and, well, and, and, and we ask of one of them. Mr. Club, Mr. Clubtail, which is an, who is an ankylosaurus, ask if um, he, well, hey, well, he have you have a, he have a, he has a, he has a, a long tail, and so does Guido, but a hey, it's not that's not the right kind. And uh, another funny like when they try to go to Sarah's father, he's like, don't even think about it, you know, and they just go back, turn back, and walk away. Or when um, uh, uh, Ducky should say the things that maybe he's 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 a swimmer, but he's not, and Petrie may think that he's a flyer, but he's in. Guido says that he doesn't know how to fly, you know. But, and he also wasn't sure how he got to the Great Valley, you know. He says he just woke woke up and he was there, you know. Um, but like when, when I went up, when Petrie invites him um, to, uh, invite him to stay with his family, you know, and, uh, first, first, the, uh, uh, Petrie's brother and sisters, you know, were once or sure, but when, uh, when he told a funny joke, the LS says, you're okay, Guido, you know. Uh, but then, but then, uh, and later when he's been, uh, um, he's been, like, kind of coaching Petrie, you know, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's okay, you know, it's, a, you know, um, what's how, what, what the line he says, you know, this it, is just, just, um, just follow what they do, you know, I, 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 forgot how, 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 how it goes, you know, like, just, well, 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 later he totally told him, just, uh, he, uh, just, don't be, don't do what they do, just be yourself, you know. But he tell he tells that he tell he tells him that later. But but he's, as he's as he's practicing, you know. But tell it. But we're telling him what to do, you know. He's he's doing really good, you know. And he thinks he might be ready, you know. But then when I when when they're sleeping, Guido gets up and starts walking in his sleep, you know. And they're not sure why he's walking in his sleep, you know. But Guido Ducky says he he knows that he knows something. She knows something about uh, about sleepwalking. But so everyone starts following him, you know. Uh, try to do their best not to like. When they come come across come across the river, you know, like they all get in the water and they make sure he he walks on their heads, you know, get to the other side, you know, or make them uh, make themselves as, uh, as pathways, you know, so that, to to avoid the lava pools, you know. And when they come to a cliff, you know, they try to move this big tree trunk, you know, and they end up rolling on to the tree trunk and to make a a bridge a bridge across the large trench, you know. He gets across. He gets across safely, you know, and manages to get off when as soon as it falls down. But then, but uh, but then, but as there are um, down on, the, but there are so, as soon as they're lying on the ground, um, Petrie tries to grab Guido as he falls off, but think he's gone though. But he hasn't. As, he, as Guido's fallen, his wings, his wings uh, expand. He's it was a fly, which really he wasn't really flying. He's more like uh, a glider, you know. He just he just glides through the air, you know, not instead of flying. And and Sarah's like, he's like, you you know what, which means we never we never have to push that tree that big large tree trunk in the first place. <laughs> we didn't we didn't have to do that, you know. <laughs> so then but then um, he ends up flying, but he ends up gliding into this mysterious beyond, and he lands on the and he wakes up and he's on the back of a a sharp tooth, which is the Spinosaurus, you know, Spinosaurus, you know, from Jurassic Park three, you know. So the he he he, he chased him, which, but um. He, he he had him in his mouth, but he got, but the Guido uh, ends up tickling him inside of his mouth, you know, with the, with one of his fellows, like, ha 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 ha, you know. Um, 
Petrie uh, grabs him, tries to uh, carry ca carry him, but he ends up he try, he's getting tired though. But he keeps on uh, pushing on. Uh, but then uh, the rest of them follow, you know, and um, they end up uh, leading the Spinosaurus into this um, where these are these are a rocks that shit that's shaped like a V and, he, and luring through there, and he gets caught in there, you know. And that's how they end up losing him. So as they're heading back to the Great Valley, you know, um, it's the it's the it's a, it's almost time for it's almost the day for the, the flyers to to arrive, you know, as soon as on the first sunset, you know. And as they do, and this winter, we tells them just don't do what they do, just be yourself, you know. Um. So as so as it does, um, as everything's going smoothly, then he starts uh, going out of, out of them. When they're all, you know, how how birds flock together in like a triangle, he starts getting out of that and starts flying on his own, doing whatever, you know, spinning, whatever, you know. Um. So then all then ever then ever all the, it, then everyone starts singing a flip. What was that the song? Flip flap. F yeah, flip flap and fly. And every, every everyone is dancing to it, you know, and. But while 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 that's going on, um, uh, Trisha has wandered off on her own, and she ends up falling into the river. And Guido hears her cry, and he tries to, he he ends up gliding over there. Try, but as soon as he grabs her, he falls back. He falls in with her, and then Petrie uh, uh, goes in uh, and grabs them, but um, grabs them. But he's they're too heavy. But then his brother and sisters all pull together and help gra uh, pull them out of there. You know. And it says that the, they said they haven't finished, but they but they said that's okay, you know. But no matter what, the, the, his mother is proud, proud, uh, proud of them, you know. Um, and uh, and and Sarah's is, is now you know bonded with her little sister, you know. And uh, it ends, you know, the narrator said there's um. I forgot what the, what the what the narrator said, you know, but. And, that's, and everyone's like, oh, everyone's happy, you know, and but how everything turned out, you know. So yeah, so the, so the Land Before Time, the Great Day of the Flyers, I I, I enjoy, it, you know. Um, critics uh, on here says um, Bruce Kluger, a par parenting magazine, said calls it uplifting and adorable, a sky high adventure. And uh, the same guy on the back, I put another quote back here, uh, another joyful adventure from America's favorite prehistoric pack. And another one says we're here. Uh, even the, uh, the the same guy once again says, uh, put quotes on front and back. And I was saying this one it says a magical musical romp, which I agree with all of those. You know, because I don't say hardly anything wrong with the Land Before Time films. You know, because you know it's the Land Before Time films. You can't hardly do anything wrong with that. You know, but um, I was, but I enjoyed it, you know, and I liked, I did like the character Guido, you know, which he comes back in another episode of the series, which you know, I'll talk about, you know. Um, cast voice once again they did once they then do good, once again they do good, you know. Um, like I said, it has it has some better higher ranks than this, uh, uh, like uh, the other sequels, like the Great Mike, uh, the lo Great Long Neck Migration. This one and that film got more higher reviews than the other sequels, you know. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my, so that's my, and, uh, once, oh yeah, once again, Charles Grosvenor comes back, uh, directing, and this, this, this is the last one he's, he's, he, he directed, and the, 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 the last film is, it's directed by a different director, which, um, which, the, which Charles Grover comes back and producing, you know, or, or he said he was a supervising director for the next film, but producing, supervising director, he, you know, it's mainly the next director who directed the, the last film, so. So that's my review for the Land Before Time uh, uh, 12, The Great Day of the Flyers. I enjoy it, you know. So thanks for watching. Take care and stay tuned for the last, the the, the last, the, the review of the last film of the of the series. Then I'll get to, I'll talk about a little bit about the TV show as well. So thanks for watching. Take care and see you later.